Welcome back to the channel. Guess what's just arrived? We have a package. And you know it's from China when it's got this orange tape on it. Let's get opened up and see what's inside. A gentle attack first. So I think it feels like there might be a box inside a box. I'll just try and pop open and Oops, you can right through the package in there. And yes indeed, there appears to be a box inside the box. Which is good. That means it'll be well packaged. It's very well stuck. Now it's, there's not too much rattling going on. There's a little bit there, but I think it might be zips that are rattling. Here we go. It's very well packaged. <laughs> oh, there's a little clue where it is. Dear me. Thought I'd cut through the package in there, but I haven't. I want to carefully not damage the box. I don't know if I have to send this back or not. And as you may have noticed at the top of the video, I'm going to consider this a sponsored video because I'm getting to early access, try an absolute one, as they're calling it, and it's the black model, Ford Y64, that's, that's impressive. Now I've ordered a white version for myself. So, yeah, let's get into this. And this is a DVT2 unit. So, I think I might be the first in the UK to review this unit. Not the first to review one, but certainly the first in the UK. This feels really special. One of the first people to see one of these DVT2 units. And it's um, it's actually really nicely packaged. It says open on it, which is pretty good, but nicely packaged, I have to say. Now it says, Absolute cloud gaming console with screen protector. Excellent. Protection bag. Well, it comes in the protection bag. We know this. USB cable, which is USB A to USB C, and an instruction manual. So, let's open it up. Okay, what have we got here? Now, this looks like a covering letter, so we'll put this to one side. Yes, indeed, it is. And it's got a lot of good information on it, so we'll come back to that later. I'll see what I can actually share on that. Okay, what have we got in here? A little bit of cardboard package on the side, which is holding the USB cable. Looks like a okay USB cable, relatively thick, flexible, but not too bad. We have a case inside now. The DVT1 units, the case was branded with um, Ugreen, wasn't it? So I don't know what this one has got in it. Um, does it have any brand in it? It's, it's completely unbranded and it's actually, look at the thickness of that. It's so slim. And it, it actually, it's quite easy, good to hold the case of all things. It's got a carry strap, double zip. And it looks pretty decent quality. I mean, it's, it doesn't feel far off the Steam Deck quality. Now let's open it up. Check the main event. Aha. Uh -huh. It's in a little bag. It's very well packaged, just a great way. I'm glad Valve did this with the Steam Deck. Oh, this is, this feels good. And I thought the whole packaging felt pretty light. Let's see for a second. Hang up, make some space. And wow, this this is so thin. Look at this out of the way as well. This feels like Nintendo Switch, and it's a lot lighter. So I think it feels about the same size as the original Switch. And it, it, I like the texture. Now this isn't the final texture, this is just the, the plastic finish, but it's uh, it's actually really well finished. Let's have a look at the edges. And that sharp edge isn't nearly as bad as was mentioned on the DVT-1. There is a little bit of a lip where it fits together, but it doesn't feel... Now that... That doesn't feel bad at all, especially the price that this thing comes at. Yeah, that's got quite a nice rough finish. I don't think this will pick fingerprints up too easily. 
And I have to say, a lot of people are saying, oh, why doesn't it have big bulges on the back? You know, like if it was like a steam deck, it would have big round bulges here and you really get your fingers around it. I've got quite long hands, and I think that's actually really quite easy to hold. And the, uh, the sticks, I think that are really easy to hold. And the sticks are, they're like switch sticks, but they're, um, they've got a nice texture to them. I actually quite like the switch style sticks, even though I've got big hands. I find uh, these small sticks are good, and obviously the profile on them is really low. So, you know, even if you didn't put it in the case and you were slipping this into a pocket, you'd probably be okay. Wow. Well, these sticks feel nice. These uh, triggers. They look got a lot of movement, but then when you look at it, it's not too much. And they don't bottom out on the shell either, which is pretty good. I like that. See that? Stops quite short. That one's the same. Maybe uh, is it a little smidgen closer? No, I don't think it is actually. Nope, it's the same. Quite nice clicky um, bumper buttons. Power button, volume up, volume down. Oh, I think this D-pad feels really nice. I wasn't sure about it because it does look quite fat. But, um, wow. Soft. Uh, well, it's quite well recessed. It does go down quite far. I don't know if you can pick that up on, the, on this uh, footage. Not quite flush. It's maybe about a millimetre raised from the shell, but it feels pretty nice. Doesn't feel like my um, Win 600, that's got a really nice deep pad I have to say. This feels not bad though. Buttons all feel pretty nice. ABXY buttons are really nice. Wow, I think this feels brilliant. I love the front front firing speakers. I can't, can't get over how well this is made for a pre-production model. Wow, well, let's um, let's power it on. See what happens. Now it may be flat, but we'll see. No, it's not flat. There we go. Nice little animation at the start there, like that. It's a very vibrant screen, I must say. Now, I'm not sure what that noise was. I'm going to actually turn the light off here and see if this actually makes a bit of a difference. A bit less of a reflection in me, which would be good. Oh, these lights, oh, these do light up nicely blue, eh? They're, they're lovely. Okay, maybe we've just left that a bit too late. Long press any key. Haha, <laughs> I love the little sounds. That sounds... I wonder you can use both sticks for... Now this is something I like, you never usually get this, but you can use the left stick for going through menus, or the right stick through menus. Love it, with the D-pad. Again, the D-pad too, so fantastic. One thing I've noticed... That's not really a criticism. And there's a little bit of light bleed. From the X button, from the, the shell, you see that there? Just a little tiny bit there. Now, you normally wouldn't notice that, I don't think, but... And this is a pre-production one. And the A button is maybe a tiny bit less bright. But I actually like the fact that it lights up, I have to say. And this screen, wow. This screen is really nice quality. Now, there is no on-screen yet. I think that's coming. Oh, no, actually, that's not true. Look, I can tune between these menus. Wow. And you double click the screen. Wow, that's good. So I'll connect to the network. I'll sell this up, but I have to say, batteries at 78%. Oh, you get battery temperature and stuff like that as well. That's pretty cool. Quite good, I like that. We can show the battery status and the battery percentage in the, in the bar at the top. Good, good. LED light switch. Oh, you can change the colour. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, I love that. That is so easy to use. Fabulous. The purple's not super purple, but um, some of the colours are great. That green that's so early, I like that. It's really bright. Fantastic. We'll leave that on that just now. System update, I suppose that's one of the things I should do first. Now, uh, this was just a quick check, but wow, this is, uh, this is great. So what I'm going to do now 
So I'm going to do a little bit of reading up. But so far, initial unboxing, this thing is just, it's light. And it, it feels sturdy. Now it says plus screen protector. I wonder if the screen protector is applied. It doesn't look like it. I'm guessing because it's a pre-production one, it's just chipped without the screen protector yet. And that's fine. But I have to say, even though this is the finished product, this texture is quite nice. So if there's a, a like membrane around there, or a bit of rubbery texture, it's going to feel really good. But even without, even if after a few years you'd kind of rubbed it off through use, this feels pretty good. I have to say, I, I like it. And I like the fact that how slim it is. Just can't go over that. I mean, the Steam Deck's a veritable chungus when you compare its its middle point, but, you know, at the bottom here, when you compare it, that's, that's Switch Lite thickness. I will bring my Switch out and I'll compare it my Switch Lite to start with, because I think, size-wise, a little bit bigger than a Switch Lite, bigger screen, mind you, and quite a bit bigger. I think it's a 5.5-inch screen on the Switch Lite, so this is a 7-inch, and it's beautiful quality. Unfortunately, my, uh, my camera's not doing it justice, but it really is nice. I like the sound. I like the, the fact there's a little, um, just a little click noise when you. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I do. It's just like a little extra bit, you know, it's good. Uh, what have we got here to try? So we've got Google Play Store. Great to see. I'm going to try a few Google apps on it. We've got Steam Link. Well, I might try Steam Link. GeForce Now. Well, I've got GeForce Now. We've got the, the free plans. So we'll test that. We'll check um, Xbox, obviously. Game Pass. Now I've got... We do the Game Pass online, I can remote control my Xbox now, I've only got an Xbox One, the original one, but we'll try that too. We've got Chrome, that's good. A gallery, well, handy if you take pictures for Spotify, doubt we'll use that. File access, and we've got all apps, so let's have a look in here quickly and see what else there is. Oh, fantastic, so we've got PlayStation Plays already installed, so we'll test that too. Um, excellent. More to come, people. And you can create your local account. Ah, so there's an update for that. So that must be a, a local account for the absolute. Excellent. Okay, so this video will be coming out pretty much the same day as I filmed this. So Saturday. This will be out Saturday evening. I expect to see quite a lot more content. I'm going to try some Google Play games. I'm going to try a bit of... Um, Netflix gaming, which is obviously just more Google Play games, but see how they download and play. Uh, we'll also try plenty of streaming. Uh, but we'll try a little bit of emulation as well, I think. Got some ideas for that. And if anyone's got any specific stuff they'd like me to test, especially if it's like a game I've already got, then uh, I'll be testing it on this. Beam NG Drive, that's going to be getting tested on this very soon. And... If you want to follow me on the Discord channel, the Absolute Discord channel, I will be broadcasting at least twice a week. But I've already spoke to the Absolute staff and I've said, yep, quite happy to do a little stream twice a week. It'll probably just be a quiet stream. I'll just be sitting and playing through some games. I'll have the chat up. So if anybody wants to send me any suggestions or things to try, then um, yeah, we'll try and fit it in. It'll probably be like a one-hour session uh, each time. Twice a week, I think we'll try it. I may try to do a little session before the end of this weekend, or maybe some more content, but stay tuned everyone, and if you're not subscribed already, please do, and then you'll see all my latest videos on this new, upcoming, absolute. Thanks for watching.